Hello everybody and welcome back to Throttle Grotto. Regrettably, we're not working on the wheels for yet another week. What are we going to work on this time? Stay tuned. So, the wheel centers are done and uh, I'm super happy with how they turned out. Uh, the lips are all polished and the barrels are cleaned up. Um, I've got new nuts. The only thing I'm waiting for to assemble the wheels is center caps, which I can still put them together without, and the bolts. And they are lost in shipment somewhere between where they originated and my house. Um, so until they show up, I'm like, I'm like, I can't do anything on the wheels. So that being said, there is still tons of stuff to do on this car. One of the things that I need to do is I need to get the fuel tank back in the car. And to get the fuel tank back in the car, I had to get a fuel pump. And to get a fuel pump, I had to go to the junkyard and get one out of a car. And assemble it with a new pump and new wiring. And that's, where I, that's what I have in my hand right here. So what I have is I have a late cabriolet um, like sending unit. Um, that I've modified a little bit, and I'll tell you about that here in a minute. With a new, uh, this is a this is a heavily upgraded. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like a fancy Walbro or anything like that. But it is a Airtex E3212 uh, lift pump or in tank fuel pump, which will supply uh, 55 psi, which is more than the AEB motor needs. Um, so the advantage of that is that I may not have to run the, well, the pump is here somewhere, but I don't have to run the big Bosch 044 pump underneath the car. Um, and then I can, I can run just an accumulator assembly and the lift pump, and hopefully that will be enough to fuel the car. Um, the reason that you have the Bosch 044 is because uh, the CIS cars run uh, about 80 PSI, and a lot of the other cars are running about 50. So uh, this setup hopefully will work, and uh, <laughs> I'm kind of banking on it. <laughs> so one of the things that I had to do with this setup is I had to modify the arm that uh, the float sits on. Um, actually, it used to go this way and up and now it goes the other way because of the way that the inside of this tank is made because it's not a factory tank and it's not from a cabriolet it's from a rabbit so it has different internal dimensions I had to modify this float sender so that it would clear the baffling inside of the tank um, so now um, basically all I did is I cut it off and welded it on facing the other way so now it the downside to that is that my fuel gauge is going to read backwards. So, um, you know, empty will be full, full will be empty. Uh, there may be a way to fix that. Uh, I'm not sure offhand, but um, so the only things really left to do here now that I've got this fuel pump all assembled um, is lengthen these wires so that they will reach underneath the fuel tank once I have it installed and get this actually in the tank with a new o-ring and seal it up and uh, then we'll put the tank in the car okay so i got creative and put one of my little flashlights on the end of a stick so i could lower it down into the fuel tank um, so i could show you guys the baffling so you can see what i'm talking about so if i move this over you guys can see that there's a baffle there but the real problem was that hose off to the right which runs up here and over to this fitting. Um, so it just makes a little path and back into that into that cup inside the fuel tank. So that's what that float was running up against. Uh, it didn't have the full travel in the tank, so I fixed it. <laughs> now I gotta fix the fuel gauge. But uh, So I'm gonna get this pump installed with the new O-ring. I'm gonna extend the wires on the pump uh, assembly and then we're gonna put the fuel tank in the car. All right.
right, so now we have the harness wired up to the uh, fuel sender and the fuel pump. And we have fuel lines uh, labeled return and lift pump. So uh, the reason I have to do this is because on these cars, the early cars, there's no access to the top of the fuel tank like there is in newer cars. Um, even the newer Rabbits and Cabriolets had a plate that bolts over this in the rear, uh, rear seating area underneath the back seat that you undo with three screws and you have access to this thing like right away. Um, this car doesn't come with that. It's got a flat metal blade. On the 75, 76 cars, the fuel sender uh, loaded in from the side of the tank. So that's one of the reasons we had to change the tank on this car is because uh, quite frankly, there's no way to put a, a high volume pump in the side load tank and uh, there's no baffles in it either. So it starves out if you go around a, uh, a hard right corner, all the fuel sloshes all the way over to the left side and it would leave the, the pickup on the uh, the right hand side of the tank running dry. So that's why we're doing this. Um, so we've got all this attached now uh, with a new O-ring and all that's left to do is the hard part of getting it back in the car. Perfect. So the fuel tank's in. Uh, Basically it went in pretty much no issues. There's one thing that I wanna like show you guys. It's like a little sticking point, literally, on putting these fuel tanks in. Uh, there is a little bit of interference right up here with this lip. So the lip of the fuel tank needs to go beyond the lip of the floor pan. And uh, sometimes that is a frustrating uh, thing to, to make work. But it is in. Um, you can see our hoses hanging down there on the other side. Our wire that uh, that uh, goes to the pump should be uh, in the passenger compartment now, and uh, the axle is all bolted back on. So um, I had it on jack stands in the back so that the axle could drop. But now that's uh, now that's all wrapped up. So it's a real short episode today. Um, just wanted to get the fuel tank in and uh, make some progress on the Rabbit this week. Uh, since I didn't get to work on the wheels, um, hopefully tomorrow I'll have an update. Um, you guys won't, but I'll have an update on the wheel bolt situation. I'm probably gonna have to play, place another order. So uh, sorry about that. Uh, I know you guys all wanna see the wheels all put together. I do too, so. Um, until next time, that's all the time I have for today. Thanks for watching, and get out there and work on something.